Now we're going to take the bridle off and we'll actually show you the steps that we normally use before riding completely alone with a neck ring. You need to help her on the ground. Robin has made a rope halter from a 21 foot long rope and she walks about nine feet away from the mare. Now that seared had free, uh, had shown Galerian now this exercise with a person on the ground is as important for the rider actually as it is for the horse to start to get a trust of not having a bridle on. And you practice to make sure your horse does stop <laughs> when you ask. We're going to trot one round. And notice that Robin walks in a big circle too. So we have a much, we cover a much larger area this way. Notice how the neck ring is not touching the neck, except when I give her a signal to turn or stop. And we see that the mare is good now and listening, so we're going to drop the loops off the nose. And just go a few minutes with the rope around the neck. I really give the mare clear signals for uh, walk and woe and trot. So there's a clear understanding besides just the leg aids and the okay. neck ring. We go in a gradual line and then legs. When, when Robin and you can just see how relaxed the mirror is. You don't have to walk so fast. Now I'm going to give a signal to stop and watch the contact and release of the neck ring there. See, it's ask, release, ask, release. It's on the release that the horse actually stops. If you just pull harder, what will happen is the horse will pull against you. Now we've removed the rope and Robin walks for a, a couple of minutes alongside the mare, a, a, at least 10, 9, 10 feet away. And this is especially useful for the rider who's never ridden a horse without a bridle before. It just gives added confidence. I walk the horse forward from a well, signal of a light case. press and release with my lower leg. Oh, I go to the outside. I can stay there a sec. And you can see that Viv moves confidently as Robin then turns and moves away. Now I bring her back to the walk and before I canter I take the neck ring in both hands and ask her to slow down and come into a better balance. So I make sure she's listening to me. And she has a tendency to rush at the canter under saddle. So as soon as she realizes I'm going to canter, she tenses up again. So I keep her at the walk until she settles a little. I lighten my seat in the saddle until she settles and canters quietly. And then... I can sit down, actually sit into the saddle and notice how I touch her sometimes behind the saddle with my hands or I just kind of keep my hand out there and keep a little rhythm going with her. This is a really nice canter for this mare. Oops. Now, cantering with a neck ring for short stretches, like one or two rounds, will help her get over the habit of rushing under saddle. So I'll trot a little in between, and then we'll pick up the canter after a bit. This riding bridleless will really give her a new confidence, and she's a whole lot steadier than when we started.